All right, folks, Alan Rule coming back at you for Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. Uh, coming at you this evening with a tried and true homemade catfish bait that actually works. So stay tuned with us. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, if you're anything like me, you've tried just about anything under the sun to get the catfish to start biting. So uh, what I'm going to show you here uh, this evening is what I have uh, found as a just a really tried and true homemade catfish bait. I know there's a ton of videos out there on it uh, and it's done uh, several different ways. You can switch it up, uh, you can try it, you can you know use what works best for you uh, but this is how um, I have seen it done and also ha have I I've progressed to uh, over the last couple years. Uh, so let's just check it out. All right, here we go. So I'm not going to do very much of this because I already have some, but I do want to show you uh, how I do it and what I have here and what I'm going to be fishing with uh, the majority of this summer. So basically what I have here is some uh, raw just chicken breast from the supermarket. And you can just cut this up into, I actually think that uh, smaller is better. But we're just going to cut this up. You can uh, do whatever size is best for you. But it's all, you know, getting basically just get to the, the size, a manageable size. All right, there you go. So once you get it cut up into a manageable size, uh, then all you got to do is, is get some of the ingredients, show you what we got. All right, you just throw that into a baggie like so, just chuck her in there. Chuck her in there. Take your mince to garlic. Don't be shy. Couple spoonfuls. Now again, I don't have very much in there. You put it at your own discretion. You just take your normal, everyday table sauce, salt. No. Again, don't be shy. Some folks use Jello. Some folks use the powdered uh, Kool-Aid. Uh, I just use this. It's just as easy. Uh, this is your fruit punch that you just put into your bottled water. It makes Kool-Aid basically. Just go ahead and put a decent amount of that in there also. It smells good. Stinking catfish are eating better than I am. You just get that all saturated in. Just work that in. Now, now you can use this for, I have it for hot dogs, I have it for uh, chicken breasts. Uh, I have some shrimp here, so you can use this for any variety uh, that you want to use it for, any different types of baits. Um, but chicken breast is probably uh, the one, and hot dogs. Uh, definitely have trying the shrimp out uh, so far. I've not been super successful with the shrimp. Here's kind of what that begins to look like. All right, give me a quick. So here, here's what we just made. Got some over here. I'll show you this shrimp real quick. See that minced garlic? Well, I wish you could smell that. Hot dogs, livers, worms, and there's some more chicken. So basically, 
topping that off. Anyway, folks, we're going hard at it here this summer. Hopefully, we can hook up on some big ones, so stay tuned with us. All right, folks. Well, after work here this evening, we've come out here to uh, Rocky's Grandma's Pond. Had some luck here last season. Uh, so I know there's some big catfish in here. Hopefully, we can get hooked on hooked on tonight. I got a, a few different types of bait. We got uh, um, some chicken breasts, shrimp, hot dogs, and some livers. Hopefully, we can, um, when it starts to cool off here in a little bit, hopefully, we can get hooked up on one here for you. So stay tuned with us. He's on. Fish on. He's a good fish, too. We got him. I got him on a good pole this time. Good eye, Rock. Ooh. Finally. First bite of the night, guys. Sitting here fishing for perch. We got us a good cat here. All right, Rock. He is a, he is a good one. Man, he's a net. I'm gonna get the net on him. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Yeah. That's about what I got last time. Might be the same fish. <laughs> See the same fish, Rock? I don't know. That's a big one. Jeez. That is a big one. Let me get up here where we can take a look at it. He might be bigger than the one I caught last year. Oh yeah, that's what you call a what you call a fish right there. Nice, good one, good one. Get them uh, pliers here. I didn't bring my. talking about rock he almost almost identical in that one I caught last year yeah what do you want to do I'll let him go that's that's almost the same fish dude that's huge fish they're out here okay let's let him go same spot and everything dude all right we're gonna let him go here real quick I was on uh, chicken, chicken breast. We'll put another chicken breast back over there. All right, folks. Well, man, that was a good catfish. Man, it, it was in the same spot as that nice one I caught last year. Uh, super, super happy with it. I had that good feeling. Love it when we get that good feeling, and uh, we still got some time here, so uh, starting sun's starting to set, set just a little bit. So hopefully we can get on to another one. So stay tuned with us.